Hello my German sperms and welcome back to Sonic Origins Plus. I am still very sick. Uh, I still don't know what is wrong with me. Um, but um, all I know for sure is um, Sonic Boom was really good, really underrated, especially Rise of Lyric. It's a really fun game. Another one I want to play on the channel at some point in the near future. But also, um, oh yeah, um, while I don't like the idea of classic Sonic and modern Sonic being considered two separate characters, I do feel like the idea of having modern Sonic being for the fans and a third Sonic kind of just being for the entire purpose of just bringing new fans into the franchise. Like, for example, currently our third Sonic would be Movie Sonic. And that's perfect because kids are going to watch those movies get invested into the franchise, then play games like Origins and Colors and Mania and Frontiers. And then they're gonna, I don't know, maybe pick up some of the IDW comics and become hardcore fans. And... I just want to say, Sonic Boom did exactly that. Okay, I won't be able to squeeze through that. I really thought I could. But, um... Yeah, I mean... I know Sonic Boom brought in a lot of Sonic fans during its short existence. And my nieces were part of that. I mean, I remember watching Sonic Boom with them when the show was still coming out, and... Yeah, that made them fairly interested in Sonic. Anytime I played a Sonic game, they would just sit right next to me and watch. Granted, it's probably because they had no idea what the hell they were looking at and thought it looked interesting. But I mean, hey, I mean, it's been proven time and time before. You get a TV show or something, it's gonna help bring in new fans and bigger pr and bigger and better profits and all that. And even just excluding the TV show, still Sonic Boom would have been such a good way for new fans to be introduced to the games. Purely through the fact that here's a new continuity with a clean slate. You play it, you get interested in it, you want more. You see Sonic Adventure 2 on YouTube. You watch it, now you're invested into the series because you got introduced to Shadow and Sonic and Knuckles and Amy and Tails. Through Boom. And now you're a Sonic fan, because now you just want to see more of the characters. I feel like classic Sonic is supposed to be that for the games. The games having their own non-canon Sonic to play as, but I don't like that. I don't like that it's classic Sonic particularly. Me personally, I will always stand by the fact that I think Sega should have classic Sonic. And, you know, you can keep classic Sonic type games, but don't make them non canon or canon to a classic universe. Make them part of the main canon. Just fucking do it, Sega. Just do it. Just fucking do it. And then if you want your non-canon Sonic games to bring in new fans to the games, 
There's fucking Sonic Boom for that. I mean, so what if Rise of Lyric was a bit fucking buggy? If we really hated on every Sonic game because it was just a little buggy, no one would like Sonic 3. Like, that game. This fucking Sonic 3 on Genesis is fucking atrocious with the amount of bugs I found when I played through it. Granted, I was playing through Meg the Mega Collection version, but I find it funny how I grew up playing the classic games on Classic Collection on my DS Lite. Never ran into an issue once with a bug. But yet, as soon as I play Sonic 3 on Mega Collection, I can't stop finding bugs. Every time I play that game, I find something new that makes me not like it. <clears throat> as a matter of fact, it was the Mega Collection version that made me no longer like Sonic 3 as a classic Sonic game. So, basically what I'm trying to say is, it could be partially because of nostalgia, but I love Sonic Boom, it was really fun, and um, I'm sorry to people that don't like Sonic Boom, but the franchise would be better off if we still had it, because through games, new fans are introduced, and who knows, maybe even through the TV show, still. But as far as alternate entertainment, we got, um, we got Movie Sonic for that. And I guess Classic Sonic is our, what, how did I get crushed there? What happened? No, oh, where's the checkpoint here? Did I, I could have sworn I hit one already. Hey, at least I gotta keep my shield. That's pretty cool. I was holding down. Why didn't I curl? I should have done been in a ball by the time I got hit. Fuck you. Anyways, I'm just glad that Sega does in some way, shape, or form have two non canon Sonic things going around to bring in new fans and maybe even people that were already kind of on the fence about Sonic now have a new way to get into the series without having to worry about the massive 30 plus years of continuity they've missed. Even though I think Sonic Boom was perfect as it was, being acting as both the multimedia and game thing, but oh fucking well, people hate everything that's good in the world. Even though I'm pretty sure most of us can agree, Boom was the best Sonic show, there's no getting around that. I mean, come on, Knuckles almost put a baby in a blender. You don't beat that. I mean, hey, I love Sonic X as much as the next guy, unless the next guy hates Sonic X. But Christ, did that show have so many fucking issues. Sad I Am is good, too. I really like it. But... Eh. I don't know. Excuse me? There we go. Um... Okay, I still don't know what crushed me last time, but I avoided it this time. 
awesome. Why are Tails' tails so small in this sprite? I mean, look at them now. They're fucking huge. But as soon as they get on a barrel of doom, they're small. It was closed. How the hell did I get crushed there, huh? How? How is that in any way, shape, or form my fault, huh? Tell me, Sega. Tell me. Also, something else I noticed is a lot of people want to complain that Origins version of Sonic 3 is broken. No, it isn't. That's just how Sonic 3 is. A broken mess of a game that barely fucking works. All Sega did to Origins version of Sonic 3 was make the game fucking playable. And some of the bugs still got through. So, I don't want to fucking hear it about Origins is bad because Sonic 3 isn't as shit as it used to be. What the fuck? Yeah, these are moving. Another reason Sonic 3 sucks, I, I'm pretty sure I've said this a time or two before, but the level design in every zone, good or bad, is worse than the games that came before it. I'm sorry, that's I, my hands are tied here, that's a fucking fact. Every issue that I have with level design in Sonic 2, 3, and CD... I didn't have in Sonic 1. Is Sonic 1 perfect? No, it has quite a few flaws. But those flaws don't annoy me. What I find funny is... The only reason Sonic CD is not the best classic Sonic game to me is Wacky Workbench and some of the other little problems the game has, like the time travel isn't... Like, sometimes the time travel is finicky and other small things like that. Sonic 2, it's... It's... It's a few small things. Like how the final boss is set up. Two bosses. One taking 16 hits, one only taking the usual 8. But you get no rings, not even a checkpoint. Yeah, I can do it first try nowadays, but that's a little annoying, especially for new players. I know, because at one point, I was one of those. And, um... There's something else I was thinking of. I guess what also kind of annoys me about the original Sonic 2 on Genesis is the fact that your Chaos Emeralds aren't saved, they aren't carried over between playthroughs. That kind of irks me. Because, I mean, 
You gave us a reward for getting all the Chaos Emeralds, but... And I know the Genesis was somewhat able to... Fuck, was somewhat able to remember what Chaos Emeralds you had. Because there was a glitch where... Whenever you got some Chaos Emeralds on the Genesis, if you like hit the reset button... I think it would like restart you at the beginning of Emerald Hill with all of your Chaos Emeralds already collected. <clears throat> now that could be because the system was never turned off and it was just resetting the game. But... I don't know. I still feel like Sega could've done something to include a safe system of some sort, because Sonic CD on Mega CD had a safe system, and yet there was no memory card or anything to actually save that data, it was just saved. I don't know if it was to the disc itself or the console, but Sonic CD had a safe system. Sonic 3 had one, granted there's a battery in the cartridge, but still, Sonic CD had a safe system, Sonic 3 had a safe system. Why the fuck was every other Sonic game excluded from a safe system? I get it was expensive to put in cartridges, but in Sonic 1 it was so short there was no point to it. Sonic 3 was the shorter and easier half of the game. And yet, that was the one that got the save system. The, ver the part of the game that arguably didn't even fucking need it. But yet, you still got it. And then... Fucking spin balls, especially Sonic 2 with the Chaos Emeralds 3D Blast. I mean, that could have been like a password system, like, with every chaos I when you got a password or something. Or for all the chaos and ones that gave you a password to use next time you played. Granted, I understand the point of Sonic was to be able to get so good you can play through the games as quick as possible and not need a save system. But when Sonic 3 came around, you kind of ruined that design philosophy with the save systems. Especially in the half of the game that didn't need it at all. Like seriously, the one thing that prevented me from ever beating Sonic and Knuckles as a standalone game was the lack of a save. And playing on Classic Collection, you could create a safe state. But I just didn't like the game so much that wasn't enough. I mean, I beat Sonic 1 without. Well, I beat it with a safe state. Constantly. But still, I beat it. And during the. I never would reset whenever I died. I would make save states at the start of zones. I basically used the save state as a built-in save file for Sonic 1. Same with Sonic 2, even though I never actually beat that, I never abused the save systems. Unless it was Sonic 3, in which case there was a very easy way to abuse getting all the Chaos Emeralds first try, and if you messed up, you could like quickly close the game. Like, as soon as you hit the red spear, if you, like, exited, you could avoid failing the stage and then having to restart, which was really cool. But I'm pretty sure it was a bug. So, I kind of abused Sonic 3. The other two games, I, I just played them with the assumption of, oh yeah, there's a save file. I've been talking for so long, I've forgotten 
what I was e what I was even talking about earlier, or my points. This tends to happen to me. Like I know last episode I started talking about something about Sonic Boom and how it could have had games during the. I, I talked about the 2020 drought and Sonic Boom in the same sentence, and I forget where I was going with that. I think it was something along the lines of, if Sonic Boom was still going, we could have had games to play during the drought, in between in between Forces and Frontiers. Which I do agree with, but... I don't know. That's just a problem I really want to get rid of when it comes to my commentary and all that. Just sitting here talking, commentating, and then I'll just slowly forget what my point was. And then it just seems like I'm rambling on about nothing, which to be fair is not YouTube commentary. Like I remember watching Jacksepticeye play Security Breach Ruin, and just for like a solid 10 minutes, for some reason, he goes on a Family Guy skit. Just Peter Griffin being in FNAF Ruin. I mean, that was fuck. I mean, to be fair, most Jack Guy videos nowadays are just him rambling on about something. Not even really being funny most times anymore. I need water. I need water. That's what I want. I need water. I don't know what made me think of this, but something made me think of this. Mm. Holy shit, that's cold. Holy shit, that's cold. Ah. I don't know what made me think of this. Uh, but I remember seeing a YouTube short about what happens when you get dehydrated. And, well, and for some reason, when I was talking about Jacksepticeye, that made me think of it. That made me think of what problems I'm having. And it made me realize, holy shit. I'm probably a little bit dehydrated, which is probably the reason I have a headache, eyes hurting water, and why I'm sweating, like it's, I mean, to be fair, it's like a thousand something degrees outside, but holy shit. Mm. Yeah, I think I pr I'm thinking I'm probably just a little bit dehydrated. I mean, to be fair, my mouth was getting pretty dry. I think that's what made me think of it. But it was funny that, oh, is this a secret thing? Or is this... I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm fucking lost. I might have ADHD. I remember... I, I, I found it funny. Because a few days ago, I was watching Jacksepticeye and Markiplier videos, and they both within like a month of each other in a video mention that they have ADHD and are taking medication for it. And now I'm starting to run into the same problems they do commentating on videos. I'll just randomly go off on tangents, forget what I was talking about, lose interest in games, halfway through a video, <clears throat> and just a lot of stuff. That's strange. I don't think I've ever shown signs of having anything like that before. I mean, it's a, I don't know. It's it's entirely possible. I'm not sure how possible it would be for me. I mean, I've never shown any signs outside of recently with my 
commentary videos being a little all over the place, but that could just because I'm dumb and experienced, mostly rambling on. I'm, my brain is split between two different things right now, and so it's a little bit confused. Ah, oh, shit, yeah. Oh, why did I hit that? Shit. Well, there goes ten rings down the drain. Cool that I got two monitors, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my headache's cleared up already. Oh yeah, my headache's cleared up. Uh, it also could be my sinuses. I do have really bad sinuses. And they have been a little stuffy here recently. But that's probably just because of the heat. But this always happens to me during the summer. It also happens to my mother. Just during the summer, we're just constant stuff bad. But it's more likely I, I just got dehydrated. I I really only drink water when I at night when I'm like waking up at 3 a.m. To, to go to the bathroom. I like get a drink of water. Or um, I really don't drink water a whole lot. I mean I I recently changed from going to private schools to doing an alternative school, which basically means I'm at home 90% of the time, it's for like an hour, Monday and Wednesday. When they have me go up there, just like turn in my work, and other than that I just do work here. But that's really good for me because I'm able to kind of better mix my school and I guess my work life. <clears throat> but the only negative downside that I've noticed is... Whenever it comes to drinking water, I used to drink a lot of water when I was in school. Um... Because uh, the water fountains didn't work in our high school, and also because of pandemic stuff, they didn't want us all drinking from the same water fountain. We were allowed to have bottles of water in class, and so what I would do is, every day in my lunchbox, I would have two waters and a sweet tea. My tea was for lunch, and the waters were for just casual drinking throughout the day whenever I got thirsty. <clears throat> Every now and then, I would finish a bottle. Uh, but most times, what would happen is I would get like halfway through a bottle, or almost done drinking it. It would get hot. I wouldn't want to drink it anymore, and I just put it down. And then I'd start drinking on the other one, which was in my lunchbox all day, so it would be much more cool. Shit, I meant to bounce and get the... all that. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I have a shield. I also have tons and tons of rings, so it doesn't matter if I get hit. I can just... I think the first ball comes to the top. Yep. Oh, now I have to go super because my rings are at risk. And that's time to waste the majority of my rings on this fucking Eggmobile. I need to start streaming. I want to start streaming. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be on YouTube more or if it's... I, I kind of want to stream on Twitch. I'm not too sure. But either way, um, let me know if you guys would ever want to see me stream. 
because I remember I used to stream every now and then on Twitch and YouTube. Um, for me, if I'm going to stream, it's going to be one or the other. It's not going to be both. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I've checked, I've checked like half the bottle since whenever I paused to go and get that bottle of water. I think that was like at the beginning of launch base, I don't remember. No. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Eggman's going down really easy this time. Also well, because I'm not actually having to worry about my ring count. And I'm not running out of rings, because... I mean, if I run out of rings now, that just means I'm bad at the game. Yeah, there we go. He didn't even get to finish his full cycle. I think Eggman only cycled one time. So yeah, that's pretty good. Speaking of cycling, I never finished Portal. That's what I just now thought about. I never finished Portal. I really need to finish Portal 2. I don't know. I might I might go back to the game one day, I might not. It depends. I mean, if people ever want to see me stream the rest of Portal 2 again, I would be happy to. But as it sits right now, I'm really only going to stream if there's demand for it. 